What is going on YouTube? This is Fight Speaking and welcome back to some Octopath Traveler, man. In the last episode, we began Alfin's Chapter 2 story here in the city, port town, or whatever it is, of Goldshore. Um, there's this shady apothecary who claims to be a good guy, but she's going around giving people things that heal them for a second and then make them sick later so she can sell them even more stuff to quote-unquote heal them. It's just an absolute con. And Alfin, you know, in good faith, he cannot let that happen. So in this episode, we are making our way to the very cave which she got her um, stuff from or whatever. Now, this is my battle party. I almost forgot to show you who I'm working with. Um, you can see all of our... Oh, gosh, I didn't even do Ophelia's equipment. But I'll do that in a second. You can see Ulbrich. I've gone with silent builds just because my silent equipment is actually the equipment with the best defense aside from one helmet so it gives evasion and insane defenses it's just ridiculous all around anyways though i got this moon blade oh that's another thing i've actually been doing some of the optional caves in between episodes as well um just because you know it's another thing that i can do off screen that i don't have to show on here um but i've been getting some good good rewards from doing that one of them i think was this moon blade i think another was the snipe saber they're both insanely good swords but typical Ulbrich build, 50 physical attack, 50 critical, um, all the strongest weapons. I also gave Alfin 50 physical attack, but then I gave him 50 SP as well. And same good weapons, um, evasive build. I'm going to do Ophelia's equipment right now, then I'll catch back up. Okay, so here's what I decided to go for with Ophelia. Obviously, elemental hat. This Magus knife is still disgusting. Gives 144 elemental attack. So she's actually going to be using that instead of her state. But you guys know the joke by now. Anyways, let's head to the road to the Caves of Azure. Um, I'm not even sure really which direction it's in, but I noticed that we can go up here. Wow. Heavy coin pouch. Always love to see that. Wow, okay, that is a very fancy, very regal looking bird. Here goes My goodness, let me see, Seabird King one. Wow, so after they get up to a certain, like Seabirdian 6, after they get to a certain number, they just become a whole different type of enemy. Goodness gracious, okay. Um, give me a last stand. Axe weakness on the king. No, Oberg's strongest weapon is actually his sword right now, which is kind of cool. Dang it. Could have broken the other one if it wouldn't have missed. Um, Cyrus, with your disgusting elemental attacks, that hit this firestorm real quick. And then Ophelia. Let me... I have a feeling... I, oh. I just, I, I feel like I've been seeing more, in general, I've been seeing more dark weaknesses than light weaknesses. Um, and so because of that, no wind weakness, okay, still did a lot of damage though. So because of that, I will normally, um, wow, good level ups. I, I'd rather do Nido instead of Luminescence, that's basically what I'm trying to say. Good pomegranate. Time to teach you a lesson. This little crabby boy down here. Here goes nothing. So many wind weaknesses, and you know what? Because of all those wind weaknesses, I'm just gonna use a soul stone. Like this? I do love soul stones. I'll do my best seems like you get a constant, uh, what would you call that? A constant flow of them into your party's inventory. You're never really struggling for them unless you use them way more often than I do, in which case I can see why you would be short on them. Um, didn't even need to get to Cyrus though. Ulbrich was the one that handled business that time. Uh, I don't want to keep taking too many detours. I want to just get in there already. Okay, buying seed. Here we are. Caves of Azure. 
Now, one thing that I didn't even think of, but I realized is that the torches in any like cave, at least any cave that has them, the torches will always, dang it, it's a purple chest. The torches will always show you where to go. So I guess if you're looking for chests, you can always just go. Is that two purple chests? Oh, I'm so mad. I might just come back with Yurion. But you guys get what I was trying to say. The torches show you where you need to go. And that was just a whole giant circle. I can't even no like... Choice. Dang it, man. I told you, you're gonna learn All to right. despise. Uh, I just, <laughs> why did I just lose my entire train of thought? You're gonna learn to despise purple chests if you have not already. Because it's like you can't always have Therion in your party. I guess a cool little neat trick, if you wanted to, would be to make Therion your main character, to like choose him first. So then he would never ever be able to exit your party. So that in that, in cases like that, you would literally never have to worry about anything. Because he cannot possibly be out of your party. So that'd be a good strategy, but then you'd have to deal with the fact that Therion is now your primary character. And I do struggle sometimes to find um, ways to use Therion. I wouldn't say struggle to find ways to use him, but I struggle to use him as easily as other characters, maybe. Like Cyrus, I can always find a use for. Ulbrich, I can always find a use for. Ophelia, ma majority of the time. But then characters like Hane or Therion, maybe, it's like, it's a bit dodgy there. Ruin is dust, alright. I guess we can follow the torches now. I've been trying to look for chests, but maybe I just did a really bad job, because I did not find dang near anything. I guess I'll save here real quick. Alright, we are ready to go. Let's do it. And you can see her here. Whoa, what? Now to harvest my Who are these people? Loss. Can't keep my well-paying patients waiting. <laughs> oh, to think this moss would bring me a king's ransom. Who'd have known this job could be so profitable? Howdy, Vanessa. Fancy meeting you here. <laughs> so you sniffed out my supply, huh? Well, you're not as stupid as you look. That medicine you gave the townspeople for their fevers was brewed from Gabora Evergreen, wasn't it? <laughs> that was your plan all along. To induce the side effects so you can sell the remedy at a premium. <laughs> you catch on quick. I travel the land selling my potions and salves for more leaves than you'll see in a lifetime. What do lay folk know of illnesses and their cures? Nothing. That's what makes this job so easy. If it weren't for rival apothecaries like you. What happened to your sworn duty to ease suffering? <laughs> Here's some advice, little puppy. Don't trust anything you can get for free. I ain't your little puppy. Lavish dresses, fine wine. Why shouldn't everything I want be mine? Because what you're doing is illegal, you're literally inflicting illness upon people. In today's world, oh my gosh, you'd be yeeted straight into a jail cell. You're free to have what you want, but I won't let you deceive the weak and vulnerable to get it. And that's facts. Let's get it, Alfin. You already Using know what to do. knowledge to inflict pain for profit? You're a disgrace to our profession. Facts. Doesn't it make you feel anything to see people suffer? <laughs> Should it? The ailing, the injured, they're tools to an end. Just like the little kittens I test my tonics on. Yo! Yo! You're lying to me right now! You're lying to me! I know you're not being serious. You must really want... She, she actually is testing me right now. They bring me leaves by the bucket. 
And when they've outlived their usefulness, they die. I am speechless right now. Y'all know I'm a cat person. You know I'm a cat person. <laughs> and the fact that somebody would test their cruel and unusual ways on kittens, not even grown cats, on kittens. What is wrong with you? Bro, were you raised right? Did you go through something? Because you're not straight. Okay, I can tell you that. You are not straight. We can get help for you, but you've already gone too far. What type of sick individual? Ugh. Whatever. Okay, I'm done ranting. I'm done. I'm done. Do you cry when you toss away a broken flask? <laughs> <laughs> Why should I? Because they're kittens. <laughs> They're not inanimate objects. Maybe that's why. Unfortunately for you, there's no cure for a rotten heart. There's no cure for a sick mind. Ugh. Oh, so you don't care for my philosophy? I I don't care for anything you do. Perhaps you'd care to die instead. Hmm. I mean, you know who you're talking to, right? Did you really just say that? Like that's my line. Do you even know what you just said? My ample wealth has allowed me to secure good insurance. I'll smoke all these dudes. It really does not matter to me. Either way. You're a threat to my business. And you don't seem like the type to go home quietly. I'm not. Or the type to keep your mouth shut, even if you did. You're God's damn right I won't. Man, you, <laughs> you better tell him, Alfin. You better tell him. On the contrary, I'm going to brew a remedy and help those people. Not for profit, but because easing people's suffering is what I do. How noble. But here's my diagnosis. That shabby sense of justice will prove fatal. <laughs> this should be fun. And here she is. Joy. It's Vanessa. Her beauty would deceive you if you didn't know the type of person she was, man. Oh, I don't even want to look at her. She brings cell swords. What do you know? Apparently she's got all the money in the world. Should have known better. So what I'm going to do to start out... I think I'm gonna hit with the level slash, see if anybody has a sword weakness, and of course they do. Because many enemies have sword weaknesses. They're gonna slice, and Ulbricht's gonna dodge because he's a G. And now it's Cyrus's turn. Uh, let me see here. Blizzard, maybe? Anybody? Woo, I'm too good at my job! I'm too good at it! I'm too good at it! Okay. Let me calm down. I get too hype. I get so, so hype playing this dang game. Give me a last stand. Okay, so we got spears and axes on her. Ophelia, we know they got a light weakness. Uh, give me a luminescence, I guess. I'm not going to try anything crazy right now. We got one more cell sword to take his turn. Cyrus is back up. You know what? Let's just blow it up right now. Let's just do it this turn. Take him out the next. You know, let's not even waste our time here. Like, honestly... I can't believe she said that like she was actually going to do something to us. Do you know who I am, ma'am? Do you know who you're talking to? Level slash. Like she was, like her cell swords was actually going to do something to me. Huh? If you don't sit, oh my gosh, man, I talk too much. I'm sorry I talk too much, man. But it's just when they start tweaking like this, when they start tweaking and they start talking like they don't know anything, you know, I gotta smack some sense into him. That's all I'm saying. That is all I'm saying. <laughs> when they start running their dang mouths like they don't know any better. Oh my gosh. That's when you gotta keep them in check. That's all. Hey. That is all I'm saying. And your poison didn't even work. Oh, you're done for. Oh, get the heck up out. You're done for. You're done. You're actually just done. I don't even know what to say to you. You're you're finished. Your cell swords are gone. Because Cyrus said so. And if Cyrus says so, it's over. 
And that, that's really just the bottom line you should know by now. Let me test the shadow weakness. That's surprising. You think she's pure evil. She'd be weak to light. Ooh, Ophelia said, who the heck are you putting your hands on? Okay. Now I see, uh, I see spears and axes. She could potentially have a bow weakness or a stave weakness, but we have not tested fire yet. Uh, give me a true strike, Obert. Let's see. Okay, no bow weakness. I feel like bow weaknesses are rare. Is that true or am I just not picking up on them? Nice. I felt the... I, I, I had a feeling about the fire weakness. If I had to guess the last one, maybe wind? Uh... You know what I do like? I do like poisoning people. I do, in fact, enjoy that. <laughs> I mean, not in real life. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, give me a Peacock Strut on Cyrus. You already know the deal. With Cyrus is absolutely stupid elemental attack stat. Um, ooh, we can break her right here. We can break her right here. Give me your shields. Give me your shields, young boy. Give me your shields. Because I'm about to go in. <laughs> Just like Corey, you <laughs> you better watch that back meat. <laughs> oh my gosh, man! If y'all don't watch Corey Kenshin, like I don't know what to say to you. How do you not watch Corey Kenshin? Like who? Who? What? Who doesn't watch Corey Kenshin? Uh, she's broken for one more turn, so I'm gonna keep it conservative for now. But I'm still gonna hit with a cross strike. My gosh, that damage! Uh, yeah, if you guys are wondering why I'm so crazy, that's what it really seems like. You should watch Corey Kenshin. I'm just such a big fan of his. I watched him for so long, I feel like his antics just rubbed off on me at some point. <laughs> because uh, we get a little crazy sometimes. That was 2 BP, and he just did 3,000 damage just like that. Um, For Alfin, it's got to be amputation. Give me some big damage, Alfin! 2560, I'll take it, I'll take it. I've seen better, but I'll take it, I'll take it. Um, give me a Moonlight Waltz. You go, Ophelia. She's on red health. Let's see it, Cyrus. Let's do it! Oh my gosh, there it is, with 2 BP! And just like that, Vanessa is defeated. Damn it all. I paid good coin for them. The game's up. I'll be taking this moss now. And I've alerted the guards. If you know what's good for you, you'll turn yourself in. Alright, you've got me. I repent, I repent. See, you're not even sincere about it though. Like, that's my problem. I can't stand the criminals that they, they do these heinous, disgusting acts and then they have no remorse. It's like, what even are you, okay? Because you're not human. You're really not. You're, 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 you're literally inflicting the very illness you attempt to cure for millions of leaf. And you don't feel anything. You tested on kittens, for goodness sake! Oh, okay, let me shut up, let me shut up. Sussed out your escape route already? I'm not as naive as I look. Now listen here. I brought a special treat just for you. This isn't good. Wait, that's... Now then. <laughs> I had a feeling you'd recognize it. Slumberthorn. The most powerful sleep-inducing substance in the realm. One prick, and the next thing you know, you'll be waking up on a dungeon floor. <laughs> Get it? <laughs> Alright, I'm tweaking. Uh, hey, hey. If anybody asks, why is Vice acting so extra in episode 30? Just tell him he was tweaking. Because I'm tweaking. Let's move on with the text. <laughs> Maybe one day you can start over as a real apothecary. If they ever let you out. Y you'll pay for this. You stupid naive. Oh, stupid naive. Well, who's laying down I'm about to pass out right now? But I'm stupid and naive. Oh, there she goes. Who's stupid and naive? Who? 
Yeah, count those sheep. Now then. <laughs> that will keep her quiet until the guards come. Now, I'll just help myself to some of this moss. Because I plan to do the same thing as her. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. That's good guy Alfin. You know he would never do that. All right. That'll do her. Hold tight, Flynn. I'm on my way. That was an awesome confrontation. Make for Ellen's abode. Open up! No, I'm just kidding. Well, how are you feeling now? Um. Better. Oh my. Her cough, it's gone. And my throat, it doesn't hurt anymore. <laughs> Good to hear it. You saved my daughter's life. How can I even begin to repay you? It's on the house. The moss didn't cost me anything after all. Oh yeah. And I accept your apology for treating me like I'm trash. How could I have been so wrong? You were the true apothecary. Pray forgive my rudeness earlier, good sir. Nope, not happening. <laughs> no skin off my nose. Your girl's healthy again. That's all that matters to me. Thanks. Finally, I can go gather seashells with Alan again. <laughs> go have all the fun you want. Be safe here. And with that, I'd best be off. There are other people out there who need this medicine. And once I've done my job, and everyone in Gold Shore is hale and hearty, it'll be time to hit the road again. See ya. Till we meet again. Hey, thanks. Oh, thank you. Thank you ever so much. Now then. Where out there is someone in need of a fixer-upper? Elfin! Oh, Ellen. Flynn. Aw, oh, we were trying to surprise you. You're already looking 100%, ain't you, Flynn? I'm all better now, thanks to you. Why does that sound like Tress's voice actor? But what's this? Have you two been rolling around in the dirt all day? <laughs> These are for you! Wowzers! Seashells! And scores of them! We found them together! Flynn and me! Thank you for helping us, Elfin! Take care, okay? Shucks. We found as many as we could. We know you're poor. Is this going to be enough? I reckon it'll keep me fed for a while. You didn't have to. You all take care of your mother now, you hear? need a good cry from time to time oh my gosh oh, <laughs> i'm about to cry watching it oh <laughs> good guy alfin don't you want to just give him a hug oh my gosh stay healthy for me will you you too alfin you <laughs> You're crying too.
you were always my hero. An unreachable ideal. But heck if I ain't getting closer by the day. And so Alfin bid farewell to Goldshore, more convinced than ever of his chosen path. Though his travels had only just begun, one town was already happier for his presence. And so he set forth for Saintsbridge in the Riverlands, eager to see what his journey had in store. Saintsbridge again? Man, we keep going there. My goodness. Anyways, guys, as this absolutely beautiful theme plays out, let's hear this final travel banter. Oh my gosh. Thank you very much. Alvin, sir, I wish to thank you. You do? For what? For healing Flynn. I don't need thanks for that, Ophelia. Easing folks' suffering is my job. I'm just doing what I came here to do. Only because you are a gentle soul and have made it your job. That's a rare thing in this day and age. Aw, oh, shucks. You're gonna set the ants on me now. I beg your pardon? My behind. It gets mighty itchy any time someone starts singing my praises. What the heck? How, uh, dreadful. Tell me about it. It wouldn't be half as bad if it could just, if I could just stop scratching. Okay, well, TMI. <laughs> but anyways, guys, um, with maybe the minute that we have left, I just want to, I've been wondering, does every character's theme in this game, all their motifs, all their pre-battle themes, do all the characters have a specific instrument assigned to them? Because I was, obviously I was doing my listening as I do, and you know, you can't help but notice like all the saxophone in Alphen's theme in this very song that you're listening to right now. And you know, whenever you hear Tressa's theme in her town, in her pre-boss theme, in her main theme, all the harmonica that you hear. And you know, it's just, it reminds me of the Pokemon games and how each generation has its own instrument and things like that, man, it just, when composers, I, I know I, I talk about it all the time, and I haven't spoken about Nishiki in a little bit, to be fair, but my goodness, man, it's just things like that that I just appreciate so much. It really gives each character their own unique vibe, and I don't know, man, it just really sets the mood. It, it's so beautiful, in my opinion. But anyway, man, with the, with the, with the conclusion of that amazing, beautiful, heart-string-pulling story... I have to call it here, man. That was so, 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 so beautiful. Oh my gosh, I'm just, I'm dang near emotional right now, man. So I'm gonna call it because we're at about 31 minutes I'm recording. So if you guys did enjoy, man, you can always give it a like. If you did not, you can dislike and tell me what I can do to improve these episodes in the comments. With all that said, guys, I have been Vice and this has been Octopath Traveler, man. I'm gonna let that out you do its thing and I will catch you guys in the next one, all right? I'm out of here.